news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 20th of uh, September 2022. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. And uh, so, guys, uh, here's the latest regarding to uh, Mirumbaiwa. And uh, yes, uh, Mirumbaiwa was on Monday, I uh, remanded at uh, to 31st October by Harare Magistrate Alain Mom Mapiwe from her hospital bed in a case she's accused of assaulting her children's maid. Mbaiwa, who is Vice President Kozatino Chwenga's ex-wife, is battling a chronic illness and had her arm amputated last week and stood hospitalized. Her lawyer Beatrice Mutetwa um, said that Mbaiwa was not fit to stand trial in her current state of health. Prosecutors told the court that on uh, 26 January uh, 2020, they made Delight Munyoro went to the Hellenic uh, Primary School in Borodio to collect Mbaiwa's child. It is further alleged that as Munyoro was waiting for the child at the gate, the family driver, Batsurai Furukia, went to collect the child and she remained seated in the vehicle. When the driver was walking with the child to where the vehicle was parked, Mbaiwa allegedly followed him behind and started accusing Munyoro of telling her child not to like her. It is alleged that Mbaiwa told Munyoro that she was a witch and slept her on her left cheek using the back of her left hand as she was sitting in the car. Several witnesses have so far testified in the matter and Bayer's application for discharge was dismissed by the courts. Mtetua is on several occasions accused the state and the courts of receiving instructions from Chiwenga to persecute Mbaiwa. So this is one of many cases that um, Mary Baiwa is facing. At the same time, she's not well. She's in hospital. She's critical ill as we speak right now. And we saw um, one of her pictures uh, circulating on social media yesterday. Yes, I have this one and uh, you can see from the picture that uh, she is not well. She is not well, like for real. And uh, so I uh, wish a speedy recovery. Then what happened to you know, it's one of those cases that um, you know, agazo fa na na ngo akuti aleta kaziwa ata kampa bio aleta kamziwa ata kampa passport ya kaka na nuru apa kada arumbi nyu, but you know, you know, aleta kaziwa itunga mire, and we all know that, and so I still feel like um, the courts are you know are wicked in this whole situation but could say do and sometimes they're not fair because uh jerry for two days or three days passport like a vatongo poor papi papu and the man is traveling overseas but that was about fifty thousand by village in aripo and the prosecutors of a carry around by one another of a pita more so i'm going to go to the uh you know they do select uh these cases they do select uh, these cases saganya kajin jini get my prosecutors and they have another ticket to know no monogasa poor passport jacket monogasa poor bill but they can see that uh she's not well i mean for real and uh, so we're gonna keep in the loop here on um daily news breaking news everyday news on prince manager semi tv but this is one of the main main uh set stories that uh, we are following here on this channel on daily news breaking news thank you for listening and watching i wish you a, a speedy recovery uh in your situation because i still feel like um she is being treated unfair regardless of what happened and uh, yes you can stand uh in court are fit aji kwanisa kupindoro aji kwanisa kutauro nya yake anoti kutu muna ari muyuche ya ajiruara asa kwanisa na utaura then you guys you say it's a justice they, say, they all say kuti uh innocent until proven guilty and guys so this is wrong this is definitely wrong but those jungo ripo daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv thank you for listening and watching bless up